website, driving on the M6, listening to the show. And I just, I just looked across and I realised, oh, shit, she's married to him. Oh, God, no, <laughs> so you're <embarrassing>. joking. <laughs> anyway, Helen, that, that does kind of bring me around to what I was going to say. Um, I know we've only been going out for a couple of months, you know, but yeah. I really think... Um, no, I know. Hey, go on. I love you. I mean, I hope you don't think that's too God, forward or... No, or, no, that's great. It's great, I love you too. Really? Yeah. Well, in that case, um, how would you feel about sort of marrying me? Oh, God, Alex, of course I would. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I can't believe this is happening. It's fantastic. You sure you can handle spending the rest of your life with me? Yeah, I, I, I just want to be with you every day. It's all <laughs> I've ever dreamt of. And every night. And every single second of every minute of every hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from when I'm at work or whatever. Oh, oh fuck it, then. <laughs> Absolutely delighted you're going to be joining us. We can certainly do with a fresh pair of legs. <laughs> Is there anything that you would like to ask? Um, oh, no, I don't think so. I think you've covered everything. Well, it's a real pleasure to... Uh... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before you go, uh, perhaps I should introduce you to the other members of the department. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, Barbara, Justin. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Uh, this is Caroline, our new recruit. Hello, nice to meet you. Thanks, uh, happy marketing too. Oh, great. So, we'll all look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> I've put the memo on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is a very difficult time for me and all my family. And Billy has now been missing for... Three whole days, and we still don't know where he is. So, I'm bogging anyone. Is that bogging or begging? <laughs> well, he's a massive. <laughs> I'm begging anyone out there who might um, have caught sight of. What's that supposed to be, Billy? <laughs> Billy. Even if it doesn't seem important, it is to us, so please just phone in. But don't just say, think carefully when was the last time you've seen him, because, well, we've tried that and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's he wearing? Wasn't well, that the uh, oh jumper God. Day, the jumper with the... Oh with my God, I've just remembered. He's with the Scouts. 
Who's coming? very senior. Yeah, I know. Just make sure I don't drink too much. No. So we really should try and make a good impression on her. <laughs> to go over to her table after coffee, I think it would be a good idea. Yeah, I know. But but actually, there's lots of heads of corporation there, so we must get killed. Yeah, I think you're right. So I just should take it easy and not just bring it into the <laughs> world. I think they've got sunset, so you only need like one. I don't really like sunset. Don't you? No. Yeah, it's delicious. I only like white wine. Well, there's nothing else going to be there's that Peter Fancham, so we really should try and make a good impression on him. Mm. Right. <laughs> made a bit of a mess of that, to be honest. <laughs> um, uh, driver, could you go around the block again? Five minutes, I'll tidy up. Let me do you. Right, well, I'll do you then at the okay. same time. Okay, let and me tidy then... up those eyes. Hang on, I'll just give you a bit of... <laughs> Okay, who wants a drink? You want a drink? For you. There you go. Here's one for you. Look, Mummy's got one. WPC Barnes! <laughs> this has got to stop, Melanie. What? I've just had a call from Mrs Arlo. PC Kane, I believe this involves you as well. <laughs> I think you better tell me what happened, don't you? Well, we arrived at Midmore Drive at um, 11.28, rang on the doorbell, Mrs Arlo answered it, uh, she was surprised to see us. We said, um, can we come in? And she said, yeah. And so we went in and we sat her down and we said, um, we are really sorry, but we had found her husband. And that he was dead. Right, go on. But she became extremely distressed almost immediately and she was wanting to know how. And so we told her. We told her about the multiple stabbing and it being probably an accident. You did all this with your faces painted like Spanky the Weasel. <laughs> well, we. We thought it would soften the blow, brighten things up a bit, you know? Um, things aren't so bad after all. Right, and I, I really must check this. You, you then painted her face? Yeah. She sort of went into shock, you see, and we didn't, we didn't really know um, what to do, so we... We gave her a Spider-Man. Yeah, she's extremely angry, isn't she? Yeah, well... You know, she was she was walking back and forth, you see, like that. So you imagine it's very difficult to get the webbing straight. But to be fair, you could still tell it was spider. Right. What you've done is an interesting idea, taking it a little bit too far. You know, this was grossly insensitive and very, very bad. <laughs> Mum, can I just say though, in our defence, though, that when we were painting Mrs. Arlo as, as Spider-Man, and um, she was do that and Greg was trying to hold her still and the red was going down her neck and it was very very funny <laughs> it's 
lose the zoo. <laughs> I think she is very angry this time. I think on a scale of one to ten, she's nine. She's nine, angry. nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wonderful party. Yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> and you looked absolutely stunning. Did I? Yes, you did. Just where the story goes. What a smile, but in your eyes, your sorrow shows. 